Good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you how to bind combo box from a list of string type. Uh, so uh, this is the simple uh, thing I will do here. Uh, first of all, add a combo box in WPF windows form. Uh, WPF window, and then uh, you can add the loaded event as well as the selection changed event. Okay, in the loaded event. Uh, you have two parameters that is event arguments as well as the sender so uh, the sender is here uh, is a combo box and you can bind that sender with the list of the string type so create a list of the string type and add some items like the fruit names after that bind you can select the index of the combo box so let's to open a window that's your uh, that display on your screen okay add a combo box resize the combo box if you want now in the xaml code you have a combo box horizontal alignment left margin this and the vertical alignment top width is this to uh, 219 okay so uh, we have a loaded event that is combo box underscore loaded and the selection changed also in the code behind part that is code behind part we have two events that is combo box loaded and the selection changed in the combo box loaded uh, create a list of the string type list string uh, the instance name of the uh, is uh, of the list is data new list of the string type okay uh, in in it you can add some fruit items like apple mango grapes orange uh, apple mango and dot add grabs yeah okay that's fine okay now after that add uh, items in the list you can add uh, you can bind your combo box with the list of the uh, list of the data I mean to say data reference so first of all get the combo box by using where combo and sender as a combo box okay in which you have a two events sender and routed event arguments is e so combo box dot item source property is data okay so selected index is zero also said the selected index is zero In the select uh, selection change event, first of all, uh, get the identification of the control by using the sender. So here we have a sender is also a combo box. So sender as combo box, and in which you can add the selected uh, combo box item. Get the name by using the selected combo box, uh, selected combo box combo item as dot selected item as string type okay <coughs> now in the message box you can show your item by using the name so that's fine uh, if you want to uh, learn more about the combo box please uh, visit my channel uh, that is WPF and you learn many more things about the combo box and WPF articles please subscribe my channel if you want to learn many more things about WPF I promise you I will provide you better video tutorials which is related to WPF and you learn many more things about WPF okay so 
thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to wpf so please subscribe my channel thank you thank you again